Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the moon's behind me, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to test out the Optolon L Pro filter in kind of a moony situation because there's a bit of a question mark about whether it actually filters out the moon or not. And I know a lot of people are looking at this filter, deciding whether to buy it or not, and this might help with that. So all I'm going to do is simply take one sub-exposure without the filter in place, then pop it in, take another shot with it in place in the same place in the sky towards the east near the moon. So I'm expecting lots of gradient on the before filter and we'll see how what a difference there is when we put that filter in place. Okay, so I ended up doing a freeway test in the end where I did a shot with no filters, I did a shot with the L Pro, and I did a shot with my L Enhance filter. Now, I was I I was gonna shoot a bare patch of sky somewhere near the moon, but I glimpsed that I could probably just about image the horsehead nebula and the flame just over my rooftop there of my observatory which was a bit of a mistake really because I think I might have just been clipping the optics with my roof a little bit so it's probably made the experiment slightly flawed but you can certainly see you can certainly see a big difference on the subs which I'll show you in a moment and it was three minute exposures each one 180 seconds at ISO 1600 with a Fuji X-T1 on the Stella Myra EDT-90 with a reducer and uh, yeah and then the clouds rolled in pretty much as soon as I finished so I couldn't have timed it any better really I just probably should have picked a different patch of sky although I was a realistic distance away from the moon um, because anyone trying to image deep sky objects isn't going to shoot directly into the moon the moon was kind of like there and I was imaging there so same side of the sky at the very least. So I'll show you those images. <laughs> so I'll I'll show you those images in a moment. And before I go, I just want to be, give you a big thank you for watching my channel and a very big thank you to my channel members Dan the Man and the Four Grapples. Until next time, tell those clouds to sod off like the ones behind me, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>